Hi. So you guys know I love shooting B-roll. I wanted to make a vlog, have the story of my day, and have supporting shots of that story, and I like shooting those in slow motion. That turned into just shooting a lot of slow motion, which just turned into making cinematic sequences, B-roll sequences, which just became super popular on this channel. And we love it, you love watching them, I love making them, and it, it, we just made it a thing. You don't always have to use slow motion, you don't have to use 120 to get supporting shots for your story. So something else I like to do is shooting it in a cut seen super fast cut sequence. You've seen it when I make coffee, you've seen it when I take a drone out during drone wars, you've seen it sprinkled through this channel numerous times. You've probably also seen it made popular by directors like Edgar Wright in movies such as Hot Fuzz or Baby Driver. Edgar Wright is a master of this technique. Quick cut sequences with the camera zooming in, zooming out, punching into important things, things that are telling us the story, things of emphasis. You can do a lot with a little and that's kind of the point of this video. I wanted to teach you guys a little bit of that technique, maybe just for the time being, you shelf the 120 along with me. <laughs> just like the intro, you're able to communicate lots of information in a very short amount of time, but your audience is still able to piece it together without having the full visual of a 30 second B-roll scene, of a one minute long epic cinematic sequence. Now those are still good, they have their places absolutely. Will I stop shooting them? Ha, <laughs> hell no! But this is also a very interesting technique that I love equally, and I'll do it whenever I remember to do it, because let's be honest, when you're out there shooting, things just come and go, and you kind of try to just grab what you can and shoot when you have it. I always tell people my mind is like a fireworks show, and everything's exploding at the same time, and I need to grab all those ideas before they dissipate. Let's write stuff down. Back to the Edgar Wright super fast cut sequence. I love doing it. Here's a few examples of how you can incorporate it into your videos as well. <laughs> What's cool about this is you can use it with anything. If you're a makeup vlogger, taking out the eyeliner, the brush comes out, up the eyelash, quick zoom out, back onto the table, ah, exhale. You can use it for anything. If you're cooking, if you're making recipes, if you're doing photography, unboxing a product, getting in your car, a travel vlog from point A to point B, you can show the entirety of your travel from Canada to Mexico in six shots to 10 shots, maybe even less. Now what makes this work is these shots are usually less than a second. We're cramming all this information into such a very short period of time, but it still tells the entirety of the story. How would we show a shot moving from Canada to Mexico? Car might pull up, walk into the airport, get on the plane, shot out the window, plane landing, high five the pilot, put on your sunglasses. Super fast, but it still communicates the message, which is you just traveled from Canada to Mexico without having to shoot an entire B-roll sequence, which is why I love this. It's still just as cinematic and it's still just as much fun and it keeps that upbeat going. You don't miss a beat because it's so fast. You can really make anything look good. I could stand up at this desk right now and make it look exciting using this technique. See what I mean? It looks awesome. Now a technique that Edgar Wright uses, he would still put emphasis on all the same actions that we just showed standing up from the desk, but instead he would use the zoom of the camera to zoom in to make that more dramatic or zoom out to make those actions more dramatic. So now I'll shoot that same sequence zooming in and out on those emphasis points and it looks something like this. So it just adds a lot more drama to the scene. It makes those cutscenes way more interesting, which I love. So adding that, and like I've said before, the smallest things sometimes make the biggest difference. Now your cutscene has a lot more life to it, has a lot more punch to it, because you're literally adding those emphasis points in and out, in and out as things are happening. If you've already got footage that you wanna make into a cutscene like this, but you didn't shoot it zooming in and out, you can do that digitally in Premiere, you can just hit the scale and keyframe in a zoom, and do it that way, the cutscene happens so fast that you probably won't even be able to tell that it was software versus someone doing it optically in camera, but that is an option if you forgot to do it in camera. Let's try it again. Uh, I'm hungry, let's have some tacos. So what I propose we do as a community, 
as a as a community. I think we should do the, the Edgar Wright challenge. So the hashtag PM Edgar Wright challenge. I want to see your cutscenes, and it could be anything. It could be walking your dog, going to the gym, playing tennis, scraping mud off your shoes, making pancakes, jumping on a trampoline, keep it PG. Do whatever you want to do, but I would love to feature some of your cutscenes using these techniques. Maybe like the first week of May, we'll do a PM reacts to your Edgar Wright challenge video. So use the hashtag PM Edgar Wright challenge. I'll put it on the screen Whoop. right there so you can see it let's post these videos on Instagram they only have to be 10 to 15 seconds max you want to communicate a huge story in the least amount of time but still make it effective and thoughtful intentional don't shoot a lot of stuff that you don't need shot if I'm putting my hoodie on I don't need shot one shot two shot three four five six seven i don't need that whole thing because my brain just needs a couple quick points to basically fill in the blanks to say okay he put his hoodie on all i would need for that as an example if you want to be efficient with these cut sequences grabbing the hoodie would be shot one literally the next shot it would already be on and i would just be zipping it up shot two maybe shot three with the hood max so if we were to do that right now this is what it would look like Okay, now that the hoodie is on, I wanted to mention one more thing. Sound effects will really help these quick cuts. Having whooshes and and capturing the actual sounds of things hitting the ground and the different textures interacting with everything. That's super obnoxious to probably hear for you, but when it's all in unison, it's all coming together, it makes those sequences so much better. Here's what one of them we just shot looks like without any sound design. Hi. Now listen to it with the sound design. Hi. So much better. It just finishes the sequence. It's so much better. Add a little bit of sauce, a little bit of sound sauce onto those cut scenes. It's gonna be way better. I'll take it off now because it's a thousand degrees in here. <gasps> Dying. So that's it for me today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the challenge. You were gonna have fun with this one because you can literally do it with anything. Imagine how good making eggs would look with this cut sequence. Like I don't even know what's happening. It's just I can hear it, I can see it, I can visualize it already. I know you can too. Hit that like button if you like this video. Smash it if that's something that you're into. 2019 style. All the things that YouTubers harass you to do at the end of videos. Subscribe if you aren't already and and I will see you guys on Monday. That was a good one. Peace. I don't have hands big enough. My mind is like a fireworks show and everything's exploding at the same time and I, I need to grab all those ideas before they dissipate and another fireworks shoots it. I gotta get that. Ah. Nope, that still doesn't work. I think maybe we should just stop covering the camera. Maybe we'll just be like this, and we'll see you in the next video.